Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Dark Souls. So, we're on the bridge where we left off last time. Nice view. Let's get going. Just beat the Taurus Demon. Gonna walk through. I don't think there's anything in here that I can remember. There's something back here, behind the guy, behind the boxes. Another large soul of the lost undead. Pretty useful things when you want to level up and stuff. Come out here, go over here, and it's our first real ah, co op hello. partner. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> We're going to talk to him again. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. We do have a moment for him. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> Everybody loves jolly cooperation. I don't can't open this quite yet. Come out here. See a burn mark, so we're gonna run back. Oh, just in time. You don't wanna be standing in this doorway or else you get burned too. And then you have to run down this bridge, or else he will blow fire and hurt you pretty badly, if not outright kill you. So we're fine. We made it. We're gonna go over here. And there's a ladder. And we're back at this bonfire. But we can go up now, because we've kicked down the ladder. So as like I said before, I'm going to go fight that Dark Knight. Maybe he'll have something good for me. Kill these guys so they don't surprise me. Run across the bridge. Dodging is very important. I don't know if I've said that yet. Get a few invincibility frames in there. It's gonna save your life. Run up here. You've already seen this part, folks. You know the drill. the archer. Can 
see everything from down up here. One of those shields that they have. Oh, where are there so many of them? Oh. All right, now it's more manageable. So the Dark Knight is pretty strong, the Black Knight. We're gonna walk up behind him. So we won't get hurt and he won't turn around early. Maybe we can get a good backstab in on him. I am sneaking, I am sneaking. Yeah. As you can tell, it doesn't do too much damage. And this place isn't very good to fight in. Kind of small, a little bit restricted. So he'll chase us. Come and get me. Come on, come on, come on. Takes a long time to recover from some of his swings, so you can get around him pretty easily. Oh. <laughs> you guys got a nice view of his ass. Doesn't always have a shield up. You can throw a good fireball. There we go. Good enough, you can get a backstab on him again right when he stands up. will jump back like that sometimes. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on, roll. Oh. He will run at you when he sees you using the Estus Flask, so you gotta be careful. And I think that should be it. No? Alright, here we go. There we go. And we got a Titanite Chunk. You can get his sword from him, which is really good for the strength build. Unfortunately, we didn't. But that's all right. I'll go show you guys the man in the basement. He's uh. Doesn't matter if we don't have any Estus flasks. He can one shot us anyways. So we're gonna run down the stairs. This is probably someone that fought him. You can touch blood stains and you can see how other people died. So it looks like this person tried to bring him up the stairs and was unsuccessful. We'll go down. One more time. And there he is. That is Havel. And he will one-shot you this early on in the game. Oh, I just rolled right into him. that that's not a good way to fight him rolling right into him <laughs> oh man I don't recall if we can get to him easier by going the long way or this way my parry. Oh man. Oh my. Oh. If we 
die without getting our souls back, we will lose them all. So usually you want to get back to them and get them back. Alright, just got a little impatient, folks. Happens sometimes. You just want to get back to where you were. Not the best way to do things. Gotta always be patient in this game. the archer. We don't want to be sh shot in the back. Or in the front. We really don't want to be shot anywhere. Never a good thing. This guy missed us completely. There we go. Not too bad. Got hit once, but or a little trouble, but not too much. Go back down here. I'll try one more time, and if I can't beat him, then we'll move on. We'll see. We'll actually see how much damage our axe does on a backstab. And if it's not doing enough, I'll just run away. So, we'll employ the technique of multiple backstabs. Wow, I'm not doing anything to him. Um, yeah, this isn't going to work. So we're just gonna run away. Hopefully he won't follow us too far. I'm gonna have to upgrade my uh, hand axe a little bit. So we can do that in the next area we're going to. Uh, 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 uh. I can hear him chasing us. Hopefully he won't chase us too long. Oh, there he is! Yeah. Ah, he got tired. Okay. Got tired of chasing us, thankfully. Woo. And we're back over here. Guys on top are gonna shoot at me. The bosses don't respawn. And there's some special enemies like him down in the basement. He won't respawn either. So we don't need to be too worried. Dragon's gonna be still be sitting there, blowing fire. So when we get to here, we're gonna have to run. And these guys aren't dead. That's not a good thing. Good thing they're spears. And don't cause me too much trouble to run past. You can see all the blood stains around from people who have died. Not a problem. Go out here. If you have a bow and arrow at this point, you can shoot off his tail. And you'll get the drake sword. Which would be nice. Let me see if I have a bow and arrow. And I do not. I have the crossbow, which is pretty good, but you can't aim it like you could a bow and arrow, so I don't think I would be able to hit his tail from here. As you can see, the guys are starting to get a little bit stronger now. Gotta be careful you don't push yourself off the edge here. Can't kick them off the edge. Not really. Can see a shadow. More rats in here. Ah, rats! Oh man, I'm not hitting them. What is going on here? I'm trying to let my poison go down a little bit. There we go. I'll just burn the other two. Tricky little things. So they do drop humanity sometimes. Oh, 
climb up the nether. There's another Dark Knight up here. He can one-shot me, so we're not gonna mess with him quite yet. Again, we'll probably do it after I've upgraded my weapon a few times. And we come face to face with the ball. There's a guy on our right. Kinda hiding over there. That guy on the left over there, he's gonna run up and close the gate on us. If that boar wasn't in the way, we could run up there and stop him, but... Obviously that's not gonna work. This boar's gonna chase me. I'm just gonna run back. Lure him over here. Someone died here. Looks like they just got killed by the Spearman. Oh, there he goes. Oh. I'll turn around. A good way to damage him is to backstab him. I don't know if it's the only way to. It's a little bit hard to find the spot. There it is. Let's see. Took a good chunk of his life. He's gonna charge me again. He doesn't like being stabbed in the ass. Oh, gave up. Must have lost me. And we can do it again. We're gonna throw a fire at him. Just to finish him off. Have a little roast boar. We're gonna go up top, kill those archers. Otherwise it'll just be a pain. We're gonna run past this guy to kill them. Sometimes the cam camera does get a little funky. And oh, there he is. Oh, he lost. <laughs> he lost interest in me. I was like, nah, I don't want to fight him. You see that guy that ran back here on the other side of the gate? laughing at me like some sort of jerk but we can go around just run down here this guy tries to lure us into an ambush see there's two buddies waiting to jump us around the corner oh my goodness just getting impatient gotta get more patient They would try to ambush you up there too. Turn around to fight one and another one comes at you from behind. But his buddy jumped off. He ruined the entire plan. It occurs to me we didn't go get the ring over by the Black Knight, which we should have. That is unfortunate. But alright, we can still do that. It shouldn't be too hard to get back there. But not right now. Oh, we got both of them. Nice. Oh. That didn't work out very well. Gotta walk along the, the beams to get that item over there. I think it's another soul, but it might not be. It might be something useful. More useful than a soul. As you can see, I have 10,000. Ah! And again, not being patient. Ladder, ladder, ladder. Alright, let's see if we can do it better this time. There we go. Back and roll. And we got it. I was right, it was just another soul. We don't particularly need at this point, but we'll take it. Why not? 
Another fog gate, let's hell up before we go through there. You can see this was where we just were. I missed another item. I just keep on doing that, don't I? We'll get that in a second once we open this gate. Um, ooh, yeah, there's a shield over here. I forgot about that. So we're gonna walk, sneak up on this guy again. And. Got it. He's gonna be a little bit more hardy, a little harder to kill. Than most of the enemies we've seen so far. But not a problem. Got a night shield. I'm pretty sure that one does block 100% physical damage. It does. So we're going to go ahead and equip that. And now we can block better. It did slow down our roll a little bit. But not too much of a problem. So what a... Our equip load is what basically tells us how fast we are and how good we can roll and stuff. When it's at half, you get a lot slower. At a quarter, underneath a quarter, you're pretty quick. So I think I just, I'm just i just over a quarter, it looks like. But that's okay. We can deal with that kind of roll for the 100% physical block. Every time you block, it does take stamina. And you will, if you block too much... You can hear the guys. If you block too much, it will knock you back. It'll stagger you. Come on, 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 come on. Attack me, shit. Oh, this is not a good place to be. Alright. Do need another weapon already, or to upgrade mine. That would be nice. Come on. Oh, I'm out of fireballs. Oh no, he's healing. Ah, uh, that's son of a... Come on, try and heal again. No? Okay, that'll work too. We can deal with that. That guy gave me a bit of trouble. And I don't have any Estus Flask, so... It's not good. Good at all. But it's okay, because we have a humanity, and humanities will fill uh, will fully heal you as well. So not a problem. Keep those equipped. Once we get that gate open, I'll go ahead back to the bonfire. Oh, actually there's a bonfire over here. Never mind, I won't have to. Excellent. Excellent. Come on, come over here. Come over here and kill this guy. He took a little bit of a beating. Not a problem though. And then we'll run down here, and there is a bonfire over here, closer than the other ones. So there's also a blacksmith over here who can uh, upgrade our weapons, which we will probably do because we could use a better axe. Gonna go ask him a question. My shield will be good for now. That should be a good shield for now. Maybe he might have another well, better axe we can buy too. So let's see what he has. Purchase equipment 
and oh, that was repair. Purchase item. Has Titanite shards. All the boxes. This is probably what I'm gonna buy. Better than our axe now, and it looks much better. So we're gonna buy one of those. Come over here. Buy this. Buy this. And buy this. These things let us repair our own items, upgrade them, and our, our, our weapons and our armor at bonfires. So those are always pretty useful. Buy a couple of these. Maybe only three right now. How much is that? Yeah, three right now. Then we'll reinforce our weapon. So we're going to equip the battle axe. So we want to reinforce that one. So we can reinforce it twice. Actually, I think I can buy another Titanite shard and reinforce it again. Let's see. Weapon. Okay. Go get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. So let's equip our new weapon. It's 123 as compared to 80 physical damage. And scales to our strength a little bit. So it's it's pretty good axe still. Go ahead and equip that. It occurs to me we didn't rest at the bonfire, which we should have done. We just lit it. But luckily, there's nothing down here to fight. So we'll do that. We can repair stuff now. I don't need any of this repaired. And this isn't doing too bad. You can see the durability. 395 out of 400. So, we're still got a lot of durability in that left. And let's get human again. Humanity restored. Pull out our Estes flasks again. Our Tang, if you will. These guys are going to be back, but it's not a problem. Got our new fancy X. That'll teach them good. Real good. Not much music in this game, if you noticed. It's all kind of ambient effects. As you can see, there are names on the ground, so we can summon people here. I might summon a person here, just to get through this part. Help me out, you can see, you can see the jolly cooperation. Below baited bean, alright. We don't have, to, oh, it looks like we're being invaded as well, so. Or no, we're summoning him, that's right. Or her, it might be her, never know. Come back, this guy wants to fight. We're gonna bring him outside to our new friend. Oh, he's just ready to fight him. Alright. He's got a pretty good weapon there. This guy does. Get a tight night shard from him. Upgrade stuff. Fire Keeper Soul lets us reinforce our Tang. Good old Tang. Oh, he's gonna shoot him from down here. This guy, if you don't kill him, he can make your enemy stronger. Uh, able to do more damage. It looks like he's got it taken care of, so we can start headed up there. I don't know if I missed the bow and arrow that you usually get, or if I just didn't get it. Not sure. Drink some tang. Tasty tang. There's a lot of guys out here. T 
teamwork. So now I'm gonna go over here, and there's a guy that's imprisoned over here. Oh my goodness! Wow, I almost died. Let's kill ourselves. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. And another Titanite shard. That's nice. They don't drop them. It's pretty rare for them to drop those. So, it's always good when you get one. Break through the wooden planks. And this guy is imprisoned up here. Oh, then I am in luck. As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. So we will open it for him. Let's go in here, talk to him. Thank you. Yes, sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. So we'll talk to him later. Yes, too. very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I've just been freed. Allow me some time. You can kill him, and he will give you a pretty good ring. But I'm gonna save him. You can see what he does later on. And you can summon him, like you can other people. So that's always useful. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to our friend. Is he up here? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure where he went. But here's Knight Solar. He's the guy that gave us the white. Sorry. <laughs> he gave us the white guidance soapstone. There's our buddy. Alright. And time for a boss fight. Da 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 cutscene. Trying to cut off his tail. Oh, that wasn't good. Nice. See, if you cut off his tail, you get a weapon. That's like with most of the dragons in this game. If you cut off their tails, you are going to get a weapon. Oh, and now his buddy's here. So hopefully we can make short work of this guy. Oh, there's fire. Oh, I got caught in the fire. Gotta get out of here. Ow, oh, what happened? I got stepped on. Bring some water. Or Tang. Tang will heal our friend too when we drink it. He can't heal himself otherwise. So. And he's done. Bow to our friend. Got twin humanities and a sunlight medal. And 10,000 souls. Not a bad haul, if you ask me. Twin humanities gives you two humanities at a time instead of just the one that the normal ones do. Time to climb some tall ladders. I'm outside. 
the NPCs were talking about ringing the bells. Here's one of them. Probably pretty loud, but here we go. And that's it for that part. Time to climb down. Got quite a nice view up here. Don't want to fall down or else you will die. It is a very long drop. This guy scares some people. You gotta be careful when you come down here that you don't attack him. Greeting. I am Oswald of Kareem, the Paul. And thou art a friend. For thee, a warm welcome. Cometh thou to confess, or to accuse? For indeed, your sin is my domain. So if you attack somebody, like one of the NPCs, and you want them, to still help you. You can come and you can request absolution and you pay him uh, some souls and the NPC will be friendly towards you again. For right now, let's see what he has. He's got a spell, a miracle, a talisman that you use to cast miracles. He's got some rings. Nothing that I really want right now. We will buy an indictment. That's if somebody uh, invades you, <laughs> you can indict them and it'll put them in the book of the guilty and other people can see you know, that they invaded and how many times they've invaded and stuff or how many indictments they've got from people they invaded. It's kind of like the leaderboards for PvP in this game. And we'll go down. There's an item over there we can go get. So now that we have a new weapon, two things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go try to... How far is it? To three. I'm gonna go try to get it up to five. Plus five. Reinforced. And then... We'll go fight Havel again. Much more... Uh, probably easier, a lot easier, when we have an upgraded weapon. So, let's run back. Run in, run in. Let's see your stamina bar depletes for everything you do, pretty much. Run in. Swing in. Garden comes back pretty quick though. It does slow down with some items. Let's go get our tang refilled. Back down here. So I just got some. Oh, some put a. There we well, go. Uh, you seem to be doing all right. Need anything forged? Yes, good sir. Uh, reinforced weapon. So those two Titanite shards I got earlier, I'll use those right now. Then I need three more, so that's not too much. All right, there's the three. Reinforced weapon. As you can see, Don't get yourself neither of it. Show you up here in our menu. It's now at 142 from where it was, and our old hand axe is at 80. So it's quite a big difference. Back to Havel. So I went through this part pretty quick up here, with the tower, the bow tower gargoyles. If you are kind of, you know, messing around, and you are human, you probably will get invaded. It's a 
one of those places that people like to invade you at. I did have a little help with the other, you know. That guy helped me, so it went much quicker. Let's see how good this does now. Oh yeah, much better. <laughs> you can get an overkill on some enemies, and it will give you twice the amount of souls that you usually get. Or maybe it's, yeah, I, th I think it's about that. So, run through here. Go out here real quick and pick up some items. Oh man, maybe not. It's about on par with our weapon now. Our weapon's about on par with that. Be careful. Alright. Take a drink of Tang. Run out here. Now this is the other side of the uh, the gates that we saw earlier. So that guy is out here. Halberd. Halberd's a good weapon. And he's not paying attention, so we'll just walk up on him. Ninja! What's he drop here? Basement key. <laughs> if we didn't have the master key, that's how you would get to Havel. But since we do have the master key, it doesn't really do much for us. That's open. We don't really need anything to go back there. We'll go this way. We'll go the long way, uh, I suppose. I do have to drop these, anyways. There's some elevators over here. This is an elevator. This is the first time you actually can use it. So we use it to go down, and now we can use it to get back up here pretty fast from our main hub, which is the Firelink Shrine, where we first came in. And here we are. Firelink Shrine. Oh, I saw an item I didn't pick up. How could I have missed that? Soul of the Lost Undead. Nothing too useful to us right now. We'll level up when we get down here too, why not? I don't see any reason not to. Got everything that we really need from the merchants right now. So I'm probably going to be a strength character this playthrough. Level up, put some into endurance, and strength, and one more in dexterity. And then vitality. How many do I have left? <laughs> okay. Put some more in strength. You can see the number on the right that turns blue is what our uh, attack and stuff is HP, stamina, equip load. That's what it's going to go up to once we level up here. So everything's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and say, yeah, we're going to confirm that. And we're level 16 now. We went from 4 to 16 there. Not a bad jump. Not a bad jump at all. Now let's go kill Havel. You can see our life bar gets longer and our endurance bar. Oh man. That's okay. Usually you want to take every whatever you're going up to, about 40 is when you start getting diminishing returns means it won't give you as much per level as you were getting. Might take two or three levels to get what you were getting for one. So that's about the time people stop. Um, I'm not sure now. I know the old PvP range used to be about 120 in there somewhere. 80 to 120. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like I said, sometimes the camera messes with you. Nothing. Now give me humanity. Help me. So now we can take out most stuff with just a swing or two. Still should be cautious. Stuff can still kill you.
sneaky guy. See, he just knocked back my shield and staggered me a little bit. Oh, that was my fault. I had plenty of time to attack him, trying to be fancy. Good, we can actually block these guys without moving too much since we have a a new shield that blocks 100% physical. Here we go. Let our stamina recharge. Dance around a little bit, and roll underneath that. I'm trying to think if there's anything we need here. From that merchant, I don't think there is. We got everything already. Rest here. Oh, we got another humanity somewhere along the way. I didn't even notice that. can tear through these guys pretty quick. You don't have to be as careful, but still it's pretty careful. Let's see if they can hurt you pretty good still. Don't want to get caught in the backswing. Oh man. See they do a pretty good chunk of damage still. Doesn't help that my armor is still the first armor you find or you start out with. I'll change that soon enough. Dang! What are you doing, buddy? You're not supposed to come down here. <laughs> that was that was interesting. I've never seen a guy try to attack me and fall before. That's all that's up here. Try charging. He might still be able to one-shot me. I'm not quite sure at this point. Of course you gotta take care of all the normal stuff. <laughs> Just because you can kill them easier doesn't mean you should, you know, take them lightly. Just kind of what I'm doing. Kind of getting me hurt a little bit. Quite a bit, actually. I should uh, calm down. Stop trying to show off for everyone. Here's that ring that I was talking about. Blue tear stone ring. We'll go and equip that. I don't think we have any other rings equipped. Ring of Sacrifice, I don't want to use it right now, because if I do die, I don't really lose too much stuff, and I can always run back and get it. There's nothing over here, as you can see. I hear your guy breathing sometimes. Anyways, go back up. We're almost there. Oops. Ran the wrong way. Oh man, I'm just getting careless now. You can drop down there. I don't think there's anything over there, actually. Wait, you will come out in that little dead end that I just showed you. You have to like, kind of jump down there. Maybe you can just roll. I don't know. It's kind of dangerous. I don't want to die again. I don't want to die. Hopefully we do better this time than we did last time. Oh, he's on the stairs. I don't like that. Oh, wow. That was a backswing, too. Oh. Doing about 106 damage, which is okay. Oh, I didn't do any damage. 
111, 106. Sometimes he'll stand up and just look at you. You can't really get the multiple backstabs. Sometimes. Just kind of got to watch what he's doing. You can. This is the easiest way. You won't accidentally, you won't accidentally get one shot. Probably not the funnest thing to watch, but... Get him. There you go. And now we have Cook Table. Now this is a good ring. This is a good ring for all levels. It boosts your maximum equipment load. So let's see, what's our equipment load now? Uh, 54.0. And we equip the ring. And now it is 81.0. So now we can roll fast again. It's not a problem. It's quite, it's a very good ring for all levels. So again, I think that's going to do it for today, folks. Join me next time on Let's Play Dark Souls.